There was nothing Paul could discern from his discovery of the five seashells until he knew more about the symbolism behind them. As Paul flipped through the pages of the first book, he didn't have to read a single word to understand the universal implications of what he was looking at. The Greek symbol she had printed on the card had been included in countless mathematical formulas on every page. It was the golden number that held all things together. By the time Paul began to scan the second book, the repetition of the Greek symbols and spirals was obvious to him. And as he scanned the reference pages, spirals and seashells and the Greek symbol were everywhere. The five seashells he had discovered seemed to be connected mathematically, geometrically and symbolically to everything through this symbol. Everything from human DNA, to the shape of galaxies, to the proportions of the human body, to the structure and balance found in classic art. And all of it seemed somehow to boil down to a single basic shape that could be found in the spiral of a seashell. What did any of this have to do with an art gallery 450 kilometers away? What was she hoping that he would see? What was the connection here? As a profiler, Paul appreciated that the only way to truly understand the mind of his opponent, male or female, is to get inside their head and learn to think like them. Paul forced himself to ignore any feelings of intimidation growing inside him by sorting everything into categories, stand back, and focus on the issue. And the issue here was about art. Getting to know the mind of his opponent could be very tricky. Paul knew that getting inside the mind of a criminal can mess you up. Rather than trying to penetrate their mind, Paul approached the data as if he were inventing a character for a story, and viewed all of the information in front of him as raw materials that, when put together, would become greater than the sum of its parts and become a living, breathing person. This person would hopefully be his opponent. Merely reading the data before him wasn't suffice. All indicators so far told Paul that the basic structure behind everything that was happening was embedded somewhere in the construction of a spiral. Therefore, using the references in front of him, he began to draw one. It had taken Paul a good half hour to complete his first spiral, and another hour after that to analyze its geometric structure 
and label all the lines, rectangles, and circles that held it together. It became clear to Paul that a simple spiral found in a seashell retained complex mathematical precision, yet enough simplicity for him to draw. It was a beautiful thing. Even so, he had yet to understand what any of this had to do with the art and the National Gallery. Obviously, there had to be some connection. What was going on between all of this and one of those paintings hanging on the wall in the Baroque room? What could that mysterious woman who had left these five seashells in red boxes all over the city be trying to communicate? 